Oh, well, now at 10:30, school board elections are largely nonpartisan, but there's a push now in the Palmetto State to change that. South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakira Speaks spoke to some voters about how they feel about electing school board leaders based on their political affiliation. It's not uncommon to see political interest groups endorse candidates for office. But it is uncommon when it comes to school board, normally a nonpartisan election. Several newly formed interest groups like Moms for Liberty, the York County Reaganites, and Fort Mill Liberal Sisterhood have publicly endorsed candidates for school board. I'm not for partisan school boards. They shouldn't be political. It should be, uh, you know, for the kids. It should be to their benefit. Partisan school board elections are far from the norm. K12Dive.com says the vast majority of school districts, estimated around 90 percent, hold nonpartisan elections. Laws in at least five states, Georgia, Rhode Island, Tennessee, North Carolina, and South Carolina, either explicitly allow for partisan or nonpartisan elections or gives local authorities enough control over elections to effectively allow the option. If I don't agree with what the school board says, do I, do I move because they've gone completely Republican or completely Democrat? Uh, you know, that's not really feasible either. Republican parental rights group Moms for Liberty York County and political action committee the York County Reaganites have endorsed four candidates in Rock Hill and four candidates in Fort Mill. The Fort Mill Liberal Sisterhood, a group for Democrats and liberal women, is backing four candidates for their school board. I'm on the Facebook page for the Rock Hill Moms and I have heard of the Moms of Liberty um, just in general uh, having certain desires for school boards to go a certain way, and it's not necessarily in everybody's best interest, in my opinion. In February, a partisan school board bill was rejected by a bipartisan group of House members, 49 to 47. The question to make school board elections partisan appeared on the primary ballot this year for South Carolina, and it's not on the ballot for the general election.